Good morning, everyone. I'm setting in max time, 13 minutes plus. We have to get out before 15 minutes. So if you haven't got the time to listen to a long teaching, <laughs> uh, the point I want to make is based on three different verses of Scripture. It's called access. And we do not have access by the blood. The blood has been overdone by the Catholic Church and King James in their translations. Now, I am reading a King James 1611, super giant print. Coffee tastes good. Access by one spirit. We find that in a large blue window that goes from Ephesians chapter 2, 13 to the end of the chapter into chapter 3, all of chapter 3 where it ends with amen, 321, amen. Now, in there, if we back up in chapter 2, 18, for through him we both have access by one spirit unto El Father El Yan. Your access unto the Father is by the Spirit. Access again in Ephesians for major doctrine because we're going to back up to Romans 5, 1 through 5, for the first time you find access in the New Testament. That's how you find truth, repetition. Start with twos, get to three. And I'm taking you to the three times we find the word access in the New Testament. The second time in Ephesians 3.12, in whom we have boldness, speaking bold all the time, boldness and access with confidence by faith, the faith in Christ anointing, one spirit, unity, one spirit, one body. Both the wild and the natural branch grafted in. The natural branch was cut off and can be grafted back in. The wild branch is grafted in in the absence of the natural branch. Both unity, both into the same tree trunk or main vine from the root. Okay? So equal, enmity, a barrier, a middle wall taken down, naturally and spiritually. I mean, that's, I don't want to teach in that direction at this time. Back to access. Access for a true witness is Ephesians 2.18. Access major doctrine is Ephesians 312. I hope you're writing some of these things down so you can read them and study them on your own. And access begins in Romans 5. I'm turning there now. Romans 5, the first time we find access in the New Testament, reads like this. And all the other words that are attached to access in these five verses. 5.1 of Romans Therefore, being justified by faith in Christ, it's always faith in, it's not faith alone anymore. So I'm writing at least faith in, in the margin. Therefore, being justified by faith in Christ, we have peace. Peace, 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 peace. I think we can get peace five times or more where I'm teaching three times in a row in Ephesians and in Colossians. Colossians, Ephesians, Lady Osea read together. We're in Romans 5.1. Therefore justified by faith in Christ, we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus. I always give him his deity. If Lord is not there, if it's Christ Jesus, add Lord. If it's Jesus Christ, put Lord in front. Always give him his deity, call him the Lord. Here, here, Lord is in the scripture. Lord Jesus Christ, 2.5 of Romans. 
by whom also we have access by faith. We have access by faith in Christ and by the Spirit. Blood has nothing to do with access to the Father. You must be born of the Spirit, sealed of the Spirit, have faith in Christ, call Jesus Lord and believe in the resurrection. Thou shalt be saved and you have access by the Spirit that you're born of and sealed of unto the Father. The scripture is clear. Access by one Spirit unto the Father, which we will read next. Back to Romans 5, 2. By whom also we have access by faith in Christ into his grace. So now we have peace, Lord, access, faith, grace into this grace wherein we stand. Stand, withstand, stand, stand. Four times in the sixth chapter of Ephesians. Here we got it another time in, in Romans. We stand. And rejoice in hope. Do you know your hope? Chapter and verse. Colossians 1.27. Please read it more than once. Your hope. Do you know your hope? Can you give chapter and verse for your hope? Rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And you can read out. Well, let's continue reading. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation through trials and tests and tribulations. We still glory in God. Knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience, experience, and experience. Hope again. ka -ching! Right here we got a true witness. That's how it works. Hope twice. Verse 5. 5-5 five, five of hope a third time. Yeehaw! Major doctrine. M.D. That's how you find truth. What's the one word, how you find truth in Scripture? Give me the one word. Repetition. We have just had repetition on the word hope three times for major doctrine. That's how it works mechanically, and it never fails. Fifty years I've been using my three mechanical tools and one spiritual tool on one 8 by 11 sheet of paper. And it works over and over and over unto truth of the written word. All right, hope three times, 5-5 five, five of Romans. And hope maketh not ashamed because the love of God is shed abroad in our heart minds by the Holy Spirit, access by the one Spirit unto the Father, the Holy Spirit which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, I took out blood. If you have a problem with that, go to your blood teachers and hang in. <laughs> took out blood, and I said, in due time, Lord Jesus himself ransom. In due time, Lord Jesus himself ransom, and the access by the Holy Spirit... The Lord Jesus himself ransom died for the ungodly. Back to Ephesians. What started all this was the three times we find the word access in the New Testament. 5.2 By whom also we have access by faith in Christ. Christ is the anointing, the anointing spirit. We have access by the Spirit. Ephesians 2.18. Well, let's start with 16. And that he might reconcile. Do you know the definition of reconciliation? He might reconcile both unto God in one body, by or through and beyond the cross, having slain the enmity, we got, this is not the first time we run into enmity. Oh, I wish I could jump. Yeah, there it is. Up in 15, true witness, enmity, all right? And he took the enmity and the dividing wall, the difference away, and the ordinances to bring from verse 14, 214 of Ephesians, peace in 14, peace in 15, 
Peace in 17. ka -ching. Major doctrine. Peace, peace, peace. All right, back to 16, that he might reconcile both the far off and the near, the near Jews and the far off Gentiles. Actually, reconcile both the Israelites that love Messiah. You must come by Christ and Messiah. You must believe in the Son of God, the Christ, the Anointed One, the Messiah, the Anointed One. Israelites must believe in Jesus of Nazareth, Messiah. Gentiles must believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Anointed Son of God. Christ, Messiah mean the same thing. The anointing, the Spirit, because you do not have access unto the Father with the, without the anointing, one Spirit holy. Well, let's read it. God in one body, verse 16, by the cross, having slain the enmity. There's a true witness for enmity, verse 17. And came and preached peace for the third time, major doctrine, to you which were afar off, Gentiles, and to them which were near, Israelites that believed in Messiah, that loved Messiah, Israelites, not Jews, Israelites, okay? For through him we both, the Israelite believers and the Gentile believers, have access. Romans 5, 1 through 5 was the first time access in the whole New Testament. Here's the second time for a true witness. Access by one spirit. No blood here. It's spiritual. It's anointing. Sealed by the Holy Spirit. Born of the Holy Spirit. Spirit unto El Father El Yan. And we're jumping all the way to chapter 3, verse 12, for major doctrine. Here it comes on the word access. The only three times you find access in the New Testament. Romans 5, 1 and 2, Ephesians 2, 18, and Ephesians 3, 12. In whom we have boldness and access with confidence by faith in Christ anointing the one Holy Spirit access. Well, whatever that time is, ooh, it's the whole time. We used it up, 14 minutes. Major doctrine, access, Romans, and two times in Ephesians. Love you. Bye.